Hello YouTube. Today I'm sharing an easy recipe with you on how to make your own Rotel tomatoes. We used a whole can of green chilies, a part of a gallon size can of petite diced tomatoes, two jalapenos that have been de-seeded. I used the whole green chilies but I did dice them up and dice the uh, jalapenos up also. I mixed them together and I divided this mixture with the juice from the green chilies up, divided it over five pint jars. You could probably stretch this to six or seven but I prefer more pepper flavor so I used only five jars. I did not use all this gallon size can of tomatoes. Um, I just used just the five pints to make the Rotel tomatoes. I do not pressure can my tomatoes or Rotel tomatoes. I only steam them. You research for yourself on how you want to do it, but I only steam mine for 20 minutes. You do use sterilized jars, sterilized lids. Everything must be sterilized and clean when you're doing any kind of canning. After I got the pepper mixture divided up over the five jars, I filled the jars full of tomatoes, left a half inch headspace, and then I put my Tatler lids on. You can use regular canning lids. I prefer to use the reusable Tatler lids. I use a jar wrench. When you're using a jar wrench, it shows you on a gauge on how much pressure you're putting on the lid. That way, what you have in there can still bent out but also seal. Sometimes if you aren't used to canning you can put too much pressure on the lid, you can put not enough. If you put too much pressure your lid's going to bow up. If you don't put enough it's not going to seal. Like I said research for yourself on how you want to do it. The reason I do not pressure can tomatoes is it cooks them all to pieces. I've always just steam canned them or you can actually just bring everything to a rolling boil use your metal lids. You have, you have to do a little bit of steam canning if you're going to use Tatler lids. It requires a little bit more heat. But you can actually just have it all in a bowl, add them to the jars, leave the half inch headspace, have your lids hot, and tighten those jars down, invert them for an hour, then come back and turn them over and they'll seal perfectly over time. That's the way my grandmothers have canned tomatoes out of the garden for a hundred years. If you haven't joined our channel, do so. We'll be picking out some more recipes that are quick and easy. Uh, some more old style homemade, uh, I call them hometown recipes that are been generations in our family. Uh, if you want to check out an old recipe, one is, is my grandmother's sweet pickles. It's a really good recipe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the notifications bell. You'll get notifications of any new videos. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.